is there is there a certain frequency that most whales communicate in? Yeah. So basically, the whales that we're talking about, we're not talking about humpback whales. Humpback whales are the whales that most of us know. You know, and right. those are the whales that sing these beautiful songs. These are baleen whales, basically blues and grays, and they're called low frequency whales, meaning they sing differently. It doesn't really sound like you think it does. It's kind of like a grunt, like a room, 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 mm. and. So that's at 10 to 15 or 10 to 30 hertz. And so this whale at 52, he's like calling out like, oh, he's a, he's a little higher. Mm -hmm. you know, they said he right. sounded like Mickey Mouse if he was, a, he was another <laughs> one. And, you know, the, the whole thing was people just didn't know why this whale was calling out. Was he the first of his kind? Was he the last of his kind? Did he have like a deformation? So like his larynx was like right. deformed. Was he a hybrid? Was he a cross between a blue and a fin? Was he deaf? All these, you know, all these things were on the table in terms of trying to figure out what it was. Now, basically, eventually the scientists kind of honed in and said, well, we believe he's a hybrid. He's a cross between a blue and a fin. Now, you know, like donkeys and, and, and asses, I guess, you know, you know, these creatures will sometimes, you know, mate uh, if, they're, if they're together and if they're like close enough in a species and so there's been a couple examples of blue and, and fin hybrids in history. Um, they actually tested some meat in a Japanese meat market that sold whale. And they were testing it for some other reason. And actually, they found out one of these was a hybrid that somebody was eating. Hmm. And so uh, there's examples of hybrids out there. And so they thought that this whale was a hybrid. You said it was a seven-day expedition. Is that seven yeah. days straight straight through? Straight no. through. and. You wouldn't think that these expeditions are expensive. We went out on basically a dive boat. It's called the Truth. It's a dive boat. And we had all our scientists, 22 people. And they're like, it wasn't one of these huge boats. Because for a while there, I was going to have Ray Dalio, who's this huge finance guy. He's got an incredible huge boat. He was going to give us his boat. But then right at the last moment, he said, sorry, you can't take it. I'm going away on vacation with oh. Bill and Melinda Gates. So we got 86 <laughs> out of that huge boat. Couldn't believe it. And uh, Sea Shepherd, the guys from Whale Wars, they were going to give us their boat, but it was going to cost too much money in gas, literally, to bring the boat from Japan over to us. And so we ended up hiring this tiny dive boat. You know, these boats that these people go out on overnight trips to go diving. It's They're tiny and it fits 22 people. You're sleeping in one of these tiny little cabin not even a room like it's a little like you know like yeah. bunk bed type of thing right everybody's sleeping together i'm like where's all the equipment going they're like at your feet or at your head you know <sighs> and i couldn't believe how freaking small these things was and you know there's one shower so like everybody rotates 22 people so everybody's like on a shower every half an hour so it's like your turn for the shower and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon 